Okay, here we are at Mungalup and I'm about to set off on a bit of a, a bush walk so I want to do some um, bushcraft and stuff. I'm going to set up a tarp. I've, I have, um, here's my gear. I've got a little trailer I'm going to tow. So, here's my gear. I've got here, I've got a, uh, a stretch of bed and I've, the backpack, I weighed that. That was eight kilos. I was going to ca uh, wear that on my back and tow the little trailer. I've got the tripod there for um, taking some more filming up in the bush. All of what I'm doing now um, is, is nothing new. Other people have done it. I'm, I'm just copying what other people... I've watched theirs and I think I can do it too, so here we go. Bit of a false start there, walking up the bush and um, I'm doing a mental check of what I need, my requirements, and I remembered I didn't have the gas cylinder for the uh, cups of tea and coffee and the burgers tonight. So I had to go back and hoe back and get that little fella there, the gas cylinder. Um, yeah, here we are on the trail. This is where we're going to be walking. This is, um, the Bibberman track goes up, up, up here further, but we're not going on there, we're going to go on our own track. So I've located a spot in the bush here that'll be okay. This is going to be my camp, I've decided. Um, it's hard work pulling that trolley with the camper bed and the weight of the whole thing that tipped over a couple of times and to, uh, to be able to carry that all the way up into the, the bush. Um, these stumps are ideal to use as the table and I've got the little gas cooker and um, uh, an aluminium like a wind guard. Um, the trolley <laughs> is way back in the bush over here somewhere. I like this spot. It had um, I don't have a chair with me, I have a bit of uh, rubber, like foam I can sit on, but um, back through the bush here, well, the trolley will be easier to get up here now without the, the 8 kilo um, backpack on there, I just have a bit of a walk through here and in the general direction where I think it is, um, yeah. I did go up the top there until I came to the um, the actual Bibbleman track. But I don't want to I don't want to be on the Bibbleman track. I want to be on my own in here. Um, here's the cart here. See that? Good bushman finds his way around the scrub. Knows the direction. Yeah, that was uh, for my age and my <laughs> my physical condition. <laughs> I stopped. I drank a whole bottle of water and two two goes. I, I stopped and had a um, half the water back down the track a bit. Here's my shoulder bag. It's, um, I sussed this place out first as a camping spot, but um, there weren't enough naturally occurring tables for me, which the stumps over there will do. My biggest concern, or you know, thing I look out for for in in the bush, um, is I know yeah, everyone goes oh snakes, you know snakes, snakes, they they will be gone. They don't want to know about you. Ants is the problem, you know. You put your bag down and you're not watching. And uh, look, there's an ant there, and you can and you'll have. A whole swarm of them, you'll pick up a bunch of hitchhikers and, and put your bag back over your shoulder, your shoulder bag, and and all of a sudden you're carrying all these ants with you. The um, Sleeping on the ground, we have these big ants here, soldier ants, or, um, bull ants, they're, they're oh, about an inch long, 25 mil long, and um, they hurt, they bite you, I'll tell you what. And 
if there's a nest of them around and you've stirred them up, um, yeah, you have got to have a bit of a look around on the ground and make sure there's not one of those big ants nests. And if there is, and you've identified it, and you, well, then you steer clear of it. They, know, they, they deserve, they can, they're allowed to be here too. We don't have to kill everything. It's, uh, scorpions, they're, they're, you know, they'll, they'll hurt. Redbacks, you know. Uh, you know, there's a lot of critters, cockroaches, they won't hurt you. Um, I don't think I'd really want to eat cockroaches, but um, I don't know, maybe you could. It's desperate, that's not my... i got a can of beans. <laughs> I've just had opened a little packet of... Um, they were up here. Cranberries and... Uh, cranberries and sultanas. Look at that, see? Bloody beautiful they were. Oh, that's the back of the pack. Here we go. That's the front of the pack. I'm only half mad. Sultanas and Cranby see with a little parrot. I'm hoping to see some parrots. I heard I heard some kookaburras earlier. Laughing at me. Um, struggling up the track with me me thing. I'm, I'm gonna um I'm gonna get a little gas burner out in a minute and uh, boil some water. I bought extra water. Just not cold water, just extra water so I can for cups of tea. I'm going to have a coffee. I'll probably um, set that up somewhere uh, and boil up some water and a coffee. And um, I got a, you know, that's the little seat I bought with me, and that's a little comfy spot I can sort of squat. There we go, water's boiling. Too easy. You now I've got the little insulated cup to do my coffee in because it stays hotter for longer and it's just sitting there in the tin mug. Okay, here we are. Kick back in the camp. Got the bed over there. There's the the cooker down the back where I, with the cup on it where I, where I made the cup of tea. There we are. Cooler bag. <laughs> First aid kit. We've got these things in Western Australia called March flies. There's one on my jeans there now, look. They're quite big, look. Whoops. And they're quite big. They're attractive to your boots, and um, leather, and if you haven't had a shower for a day or so, and you're a bit smelly, they will be all over you. They, if they come to you, I don't normally wear um, repellent. Um, if you squish them, um, what will happen is all the juice will come out over you and you'll be instantly more attractive to the other ones. <laughs> Whoops, oh, there's one. They're biting me. There you go, on my leg. They don't bite you through your jeans, but if they bite you, like on your bare skin, on your arm, on your arm, whatever, usually you have time. What I do is I get a piece of a, a branch, a bit of a swishy bit of branch and, um, and I put that on, uh, swish them away and try to resist the temptation to splat them. Because splatting them brings more. There we are. It's going to be, the sun's going to go down. I've got, I've got, um, in my bag there I've got, um, some, uh, a couple of roux burgers, it's the roux mincemeat hamburgers, and I've got, the, I've got the little frying pan down here in the buggy. Uh, the buggy, I made that, it's out of a couple of push bikes uh, from the rubbish tip, and um, yeah, one's got a purple wheel, one's got a white wheel, and then what I did, I incorporated the part of the seat stem that um, that has a, like the locking device 
and then I found that piece of conduit that fitted in there and bent and put a handle on it. And I, I was thinking before, I, if I had a quick release uh, milk crate, I could use that milk crate for a seat when I came. And um, I've been laying on the bed, and I'll tell you, even though it does weigh a fair bit, that's beautiful. That's just better than sleeping on the ground any day. It is. So, gotta try different things, don't you? Here's the kitchen over here. Got the, uh, I've got this. Um, I've got this the other day. They're French, called an open nail. That's an open nail number eight. It's a carbon. They come in a stainless steel or a carbon blade. That's a carbon blade. I prefer. I prefer that, and uh, didn't want to go ch chop through the gas line. Over there's a little frying pan, and I've got two eggs and some cheese, and a couple of burgers and a couple of buns, so we're going to have two deluxe roux burgers on the, on the mini gas cooker. Now this little gas cooker fits into a little orange box, and um, I took this with me on the Triumph on my trip to over to Sydney and back and uh, yeah that's a brilliant little thing it's got, a, it's got its own little turn it on it's got its own little piazza and it lights and, yeah. and behind there that's um, a saw that I was, I was um, sawing up a piece of limb before I was going to make a chair across here with the limb but it was where the white piece was on the branch it was um, it broke so that was the end of that. I've got to go find another piece. That was the bed. <laughs> sort of a camp up through here. It's the sun. It's starting to um, go down. It's about uh, it's coming up to like um, five o'clock. Um, after five a bit in the bush here. But, yeah. The other thing I didn't mention about camping in, in this kind of bush is kangaroo ticks. You see there's a lot of like places where the ground has been trodden down in, a, in like a little track, like a little, I call them roo roads. The little roads through the bush where they skip through. And then you'll find places on the ground where the, the ground is definitely um, compacted down. It's where they come to sleep well. They're not good places to camp because there's more chance that you're going to get kangaroo ticks. After you've been camping out the bush, uh, when you're in the shower, you get your missus or your partner to um, uh, give you a bit of a look over, see if you've got no ticks. I've had, I've had um, ticks removed from me in the bush before. Yeah, so I've been busy. I, um, I've made this little... Uh, chair for in the kitchen so while I'm over here at the stove cooking uh, my burgers which I'll, I'm going to start shortly I can um, I can I can come over here to my little chair that's through there and, uh, sit down here and be comfortable and, and not and not fall over when I first before I put that center leg in um, it was a bit doubtful but that's my latest addition and that skewered it before it was just creaking very aimless aim yeah, whatever the word is dangerously yeah well um I found the other uh, the other litre bottle of water that fell out of the buggy in the bush and I wonder where that went. I just made it. Um, one thing, it's, it's hot. I've drunk a lot of water. Um, if you're making cups of tea and cups of coffee and even just washing spoons out washing, you know, and cups out, with, you need a little bit of spare water. In the Australian bush, it's summer. Today would have been at least 30 degrees. Feeling warm, I think more. There we are, sun's starting to go down. I'm going to make a cup of tea. And then when, I, <clears throat> when I'm had my, having my cup of tea, 
it um, in those little cups it stays hot a really long time. So I can have them sipping my tea while I'm cooking my, my rue burgers. Now, the last time, I needed my shirt <laughs> to get the cup off the, off the fire because it was, the pan was hot. So the saw I was using before to cut, cut the base of that square. I'm going to cut this other piece in half. Found that. On the road. Not a okay. Where's my cup from? Wait, you know he killed me so. I took that over there so that's not in the way. Full cream milk, tea bags, the frying pan, it's a little dazzler, and that double shell cup. Look, that rock. Oh, go. Kitchen. <laughs> so then watch the water boil while the sun's going down. You hear the birds? It's a piece of wood with a bit of metal in it and you wriggle it and it goes. It's a bird whistle. Well I hope the wag coals come around because at our house they, they, eat, the, they eat the march flies. As far as I'm concerned. That's a good thing. God, I hope that bloody bit there doesn't break off. You not lean on it or I don't know if I'm around. Other than that's making a pretty good chair for now. Come on, water. I like watching paint dry. Oh, Now we're away again. Oh, there's in the fridge. In the fridge. 
Mm-hmm. And the burger patties. And some butter. Tree droppings. Never heard of a bit of butter. Burgers don't stick too much. Bit horrible. Oh, can't believe I did that. Buddy, hang on, I've got a whole fucking thing there. I'm going to piss down the hills. I'm just like, what do we do that with? What do we do that? Buddha. Yeah. Fucking perfectly level now. Pay in with the Ruburger. Oh, military's brother. Oh, might be pushing it a bit. Ah, oh, fuck it. You're in there. I'm cooking. Look at the tea going. Listen to that, cooking away there. Roo's good for you. I eat a lot of it. Natural for this country. I've got onion in there, I'm going to cut that up. Buns. Onion and eggs. Put the eggs last. <laughs> In the bush. How about I cook up? Oh, I don't get any better than that. What do you reckon? Put the trolley over here that way. Sorry, old trolley. Ooh, this is not right. I'm going to do that. That's mad talking to me, trolley. There you go, I'm going to do burgers. That would be new open old French knife with a doodah locking mechanism. Oh, fine knife too. Beautiful. Beautiful.
cooking here in the kitchen. The bush. Mm. All right. Uh, We don't care. I can get there. Cooking up a fire storm. Look at that. What? What's happened? Come off into the wood. Back up there. A bit crazy. Who knows? Maybe I'll turn it down if it might be too hot. There you are. Flames not as fierce. Slow cook on the meat. The onion's a bit of a herb on. Oh, look at that. Hmm? Oh. A little stall. Back on the back and leave this. Sun's going down. Peace in the country when the sun goes down. Corn is getting high. Mungo Jerry. Melon back here. Now, I'll tell you what I have got two buns, cheese, and egg. So these are going to have burger, green meat, two slices of cheese, and each one, and an egg. black tea if I don't have to. Although a bushman, a real bushman would have black tea and be happy there. But I don't like it much. Uh, I must be a apprentice bushman. That's the case. Well, you have a look at that. Okay. Onion and two 
spoon patties. Not gonna lie. Slowly burn. I'll turn the burner down. See? Slowly hooking away on a tree stump. And the, um, the armchair, look at that, on that arm. If it breaks, oh shit, look at that. Oh, it looks pretty dangerous. No, no, it hasn't broken. There we go, I'm safe. Yeah, there we are. Cooking away over there, slow, turn to five. Fire down. Put some milk in your tea. <laughs> and there's my, oh, I've got a slice of buns open, that's right. And um, once this stuff's done, I can put it onto a plate that I have, and I can um, cook the eggs. That's what I'll do, and get that stuff. But yeah, you can smell that. Oh, you can hear it sizzling, I can hear it sizzling. <laughs> 